Yo, what is going on, everybody? Still, Champ 2, Division 4. Um, I'm going to just go for it today and see how far I can get. Uh, and then just cut the episodes up. So, it's the first time I've actually got a little bit of spare time. I've got two hours spare here. So, we're going to go for a big push. And then cut it down. At, whoops, after. And I just got on. So, I just got my uh, bit of free time. So, I thought, yep, let's get on it straight away. And uh, it looks a bit laggy here, uh, uh, FPS lag. So hopefully it, uh, it'll it look all right in a minute. It might just be the PC warming up. I don't even know if that's a thing. They look for a demo there. And we're just going to... Whoa! Okay, I thought I hit that. Going to side flip there and uh, miss. But give me a second. I do apologize. This doesn't seem right. Let me take this off. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that was my bad. Complete missed the ball paying too much attention to the fps drops we're going to carry on from here so anyway let's get into it going to grab the mid boost going to try and get out my teammate away straight away i'm going to build down the middle hopefully they just front flip because i, I was going to say i think they just missed there so the reason the front flip would have been the choice there as opposed to the jab like we do have free time because of an overcommit but if they front flip we get there before they have a chance of getting back and the we can get the uh, offense going a bit quicker but it doesn't matter it was a great goal and it just comes off the overcommit. So 1-1 one, one again. It's on me if we lose this one because that's real bad. So I'm trying to face forward here as long as possible with the intention of moving forward. And once that goes, we're going to move into position. And I block the inside. You see how I do the single jump? These are drills from lockdown. And we're going to block as much as we can. There we go. The inside high flick straight away. And I'm looking at this guy. And look at that. That's horrible for him. Horrible for him. There's no way he saves this because that is a horrible thing to do to someone they're trying to time uh, something that's difficult for a lot of players because they don't practice it. And we just jump in the air. And now we st we've done a rhythm break in transition. Now, you'll always hear me talking about rhythm breaks, rhythm breaks. And, uh, you know, it's something I've, I've been really talking a lot to, uh, to the guys as well. Because with the rhythm break, you want to be able to do it everywhere. You know, rhythm break here. Rhythm break there. You know, everything's a rhythm break. So, they're expecting me to go bam, bam. Bam. No, I go boom there straight away. And then instead of going bam, bam, I go boom. So it's it's a half beat, that one. I could have shot it on the volley. That's probably what they were expecting. They didn't see me do that. So they start driving off and I go low. So you always want to... Uh, it's what they... Ex this is Rocket League. Uh, whatever they expect me to do, I don't do. And this is why not telegraphing is important. So how do you not telegraph a ball? You get really close. We had Smashy on last night for scrim, so he's 25th in the world right now, or he was at the time, 2.3k in 2v2. We had him playing with the guys, uh, doing some scrims, and the big thing was, we'll just play that uh, to the side, that he takes his hits almost late. We're going to save that because we don't want to, like, there's no point. So you don't want to, like, make it, like, I don't want to fly from here necessarily and make it too obvious. If I don't have to, I'd rather get to right here and then make my decision because... The more, the closer I get to the play, the more intel I'm going to have. And I just uh, hope this guy leaves. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd explain that. And it all came off, you know, that quick uh, flick there. You saw the quick flick on offense, straight away get that ball moving. Then into a delay on the dodge at a single jump block. I don't know why they're not leaving. Uh, it just, this is Rocket League. So we're going to skip to the next game anyway, guys. We're with your Clapped and we're against the Pinder and Yvonne. Is that, would that be Yvonne? Yuxon? I don't know, man. There's so many uh, names that I find very difficult. So with that, that air dribble there, the best thing they could have done was a jab because it would have had the same outcome, but they would have been grounded. So you've probably heard me say that before, and that's because the fundamentals, uh, you know, they're right forever. So see how that's telegraphed? See how easy that is to save because he was up so early? So I know for sure he's definitely taking that shot. He's made it too obvious. Now, if I do this, though, they don't know if I'm taking that shot or not. Good save by the teammate. We're actually going to get the play out of it. And I've just missed the open now. I am so sorry. And we're going to get the demo there because I'm so sorry. Hopefully, they can finish that. Yeah, that's on me. <laughs> I make some massive mistakes at the early part of the game. Why did he go for boost? I can't. Why did he go for boost in that play? So that's really interesting. So we're going to probably get another quit here. They are fuming. Yeah, so bad play from me. I can't even remember what happened now. But yeah, let's just play from here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to move straight into this goal side position. Oh, yeah, that was hovering. So, it was a bit... Oh, I've gone a bad line there. It was a bit... Phew, teammates just saved my bacon again. I'm going to go for another shot here. So, as I get closer, I get more intel. I've gone for the demo on the same guy. That could be a rager. 
And if my teammate was to finish it there, that would be a rager. Oh, nice 50 from them. That's a really good play. We're going to jump up here. And we're just going to look for the tap. I actually missed the ball there. But it's enough to give us a chance to get back here. I've got to be real careful with my boost management. And I'm waiting. Okay, teammate's going to get 100 boost. I'm just going to chill for a second. I'm waiting now, maybe, to go. I was going to make a point. I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. So, with that fake there, I, you don't expect them to go if they can't read you. But, obviously, they do now. So, we're just going to play it to side. So, see how it was telegraphed again? We, we saw him, like, jumping up before I'd even done anything. I'm going to move that to the outside. Great little move there is to air roll onto the outside and then make the play. And, that's really bad for me. That should have been a goal. And open net here. So, we're going to move facing forward. And teammate could take a little bit more time uh, defensively here on the counters to, to get those clears. And have to back up here. Yeah, we're not getting any support towards the net here. So we're playing it to the outside, but our teammates also deciding to come into the corner, which doesn't make any sense here. Their line should be to the net to sort of back us up. You know, it's all about backing each other up. Don't go if there's three players in the corner. The last place you want to go is the corner. You want to go to the open area. Anywhere but the corner would have been a goal for us. They could have easily saved that and uh, scored off the back of it. So like you see here, we go towards the net and we'll grab some pads. And then if it goes wrong, we get the counter. I think that was actually how the first goal came out. We're going to move to this and we're going to move away. I'm going to grab this. Going to get onto the backboard here. I'm going to come here. Instant flick. There's the rhythm break here. Boom. Boom, bam. Okay, nearly. So now I know I need to get him on. Whoa, on a one beat. I'm actually going to take that shot. The reason I'm going to take that shot is because something happened there that shouldn't have happened. And here, I feel that should have been a demo and there was like a weird lag movement. And so what I expected happened to everyone else there is rubber banding. So that, that to them would have looked weird because it looked weird to me. It felt weird. Like I can't explain it, but it felt weird. So most likely that looked really laggy. So I'm going to take advantage of it straight away and just turn and snapshot. But again, in the air like here, look how close I get before I make my decision. I don't telegraph it. So if that second man didn't come from my blind spot and get the save, there's no way that guy would have saved it because he was waiting for an early save. And that's why I don't like rotation. We just left the ball. Now I've got to go here, uh, which does make it a bit risky. They could have stayed and sort of shattered that away. I'm going to move towards the net here. And we're going to just block this line. Great play from the teammate. I'm just going to come to the deep side. And again, I'm going to be with them just in case. I didn't know if they were going to go for that. And here, we're going to play it to this side. So straight away, I'm going to grab this boost. And I'm going to go up straight away. Just a, a soft touch here. Just to sort of tap it to my teammate. And I'm going to leave that. That's too risky. We've got the lead. That's a great 50. Again, a bit too risky. Probably should have gone. They might be long boost. It's going to backflip. Don't need to dive into this. I need to come here, close that distance. Brilliant, we funneled them. Yeah, the teammate says take the shot and now look at the mess we've ended up in. Because they push forward. I could have, have an open net here. I'm going to move on to this, get supersonic early. Jab shot around the backboard, real safe. And then a late shot. And they've just, uh, you know, they're probably a bit annoyed at me for taking that. But again, this is why we don't go up the wall. Straight away, boom. They're not, people aren't expecting you to just go for the goal. They're expecting you to mess around with spins and air dribbles. I ain't got time for that. I want to score. Let's score. Good 50. I'm going to leave the back boost for them. I'm going to get central here. Uh, one of the advantages, like I always say, and um, we're going to time this challenge. So one of the advantages of pushing out is you get to be able to do a bit of everything. I'm going to have to leave that. I misjudged that. I thought he was going to tap it in a kill touch. And I'm... Whoa! That's my bad. Okay, so I was actually going to go there because last time they didn't go and they didn't go that time. But my teammate uh, got an extra hit on the ball and there's no way I could have read that. Uh, we might get a double touch here. So I'm not going to go again. That's why you don't go, you know. I read the teammates, but I, uh, the opponents, but I didn't read my teammate. We're going to wait for this double touch. It's not dangerous from the angle. Could have took that. We're going to move forward here. They need boost. We're going to move forward into that. That's been taken. Uh, we've got to come across here and right at the last second I do my jump. I don't dive across even though there's potential for the shot. So I'm watching the player. Okay, I've just done a spin on the spot, which means it's bad times, yeah. We could have probably came in and took that and... Right, they hookshot it. This is decent. Okay, and there we go. And they've left the game. So, look at the positioning. And this is why I tell you guys to go deep and not listen to everyone else who tells you to push out to front post. That's why, because you'll score own goals. Just get deep in the net and hit it out. i got training impact for days on that. GG, well played. That should be champion free. 
Again, hopefully throughout this, you're just seeing opportunities to score more and more goals here. Okay, that's still not champ free. Wow. So one of them has a higher ping. That means we might want to use a few more explosive hits onto the backboard, a few more quick hits, nice shot, uh, because they followed it up and we want the kickoff. Kickoffs are so important in twos, okay? And, uh, you know, they did cheat up, but we won the kickoff. And it's because I'm trying to win the kickoffs, you know? I'm trying to concentrate on these kickoffs and win them. So we're going to get to this ball, supersonic. And I'm waiting here. I'm waiting. And boom, side flip there. And that gives me more momentum. See how I sort of use their momentum? And I'm late there. You see how I'm late? I see how I didn't telegraph it. Okay, bang. And there's a rhythm break. And it sort of goes teleporting. So again, I need to go earlier on that. So it, it, again, it's all adapting. So where Malux attacks the ball, I've already got their rhythm down. They go boom, and then they challenge. It's boom, and then they challenge. So now, wait for this. Okay, that's my bad. Oh, well. So did not expect teammate not to say. So once they get that 100 boost, they've got to go onto the backboard. So those balls are your teammate's responsibility, uh, generally. So it, it's fine, though, because that is the backboard. So you're more the sniper. I mean, I could have saved it, but I just expect them to go for that. So we're just going to wait here, nice and close. And so right now, we know Malux. I'm going to shoot. So there we go. So that's why I changed the rhythm. Hopefully, you guys saw my whole thought process there. Malux, last time, it was a one-touch challenge. So he's waiting for a one-touch challenge. So I'm going to shoot straight away. So that's rhythm breaking. Hopefully that makes sense. So now I go every on every beat I'm shooting, and because they've got a low ping, a uh, uh, high ping as well, every beat that I get an opportunity, I'm shooting. So this is my responsibility. So I'm going to use that side flip. Always a side flip to the outside, and uh, here I really want to go for my hip, but I can't. And I'm going to just do that because I can't. I just want to put them off. Okay, this is a risky boost grab. So I've got to maintain movement towards my net. Because those corner bounces are always dangerous. But I'm central here. And I'm waiting to move forward. Okay. Now I can pick this up. Because teammates clearly out of the play. So I'm going to pick this up from the inside. And we're going to go for the funnel. That's fine. I did, don't have to hit, actually hit the ball. You know. As long as it, it. Yeah. That's fine. It wasn't the best play for me. Yeah. You don't actually have to hit the ball. When you're funneling. If they're doing it for you. You don't have to touch it. Boom. Bam. Nope. Don't get it. Kill. If you don't get the, the flick. Always go for the kill. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here. Oh, no. I was going to say. Teammate might be back in time. Yes, they are. We get a good spawn. I can't go. I'm going to go again late. And I'm just bouncing that around. We're low on boost. Hopefully, teammate doesn't dive in. They do keep diving in here. So, we've just got to be careful. And again, late to the ball. And then I get a bit more power in the shot. I'm going to kill. All right. And we're going to come here. Boom. And there's the fake. Because last time I did that... Oh my god. <laughs> so sorry. Last time I did that though, they challenged on the high flick. So instead now I go low. So again, it's just right in that thing in your head for each player. And obviously guys, you, you want to be finishing though. Oh, I thought they would be back in time. So yeah, a bit unfortunate that I missed that open net there. But I really thought they'd be back in time for that. So I took a bit more of a risk to extend. But I shouldn't have because we got the lead. Uh, so that's on me. I'm going to come over the top there. Block it with the side of the car as best as I can. Wait for this touch. I'm going to cut into the middle. Instant flip. Good. So they've changed their rhythm. Side flip. Okay. Just trying to stay safe. I'm going to move away. Good stuff from the teammate. I'm going to have to grab this boost. I'm going to have to. Opportunity here. I think teammate might score this. No. I'm going to back flip. Side flip. I'm in a real bad spot here. The, the issue we've got is that the teammate is getting on the offense a little bit earlier than I want. So I'm out of rhythm with them. They're like now, uh, not there, but when we're on those offensive opportunities, they're just going a bit too early for me and I can't get into the positions I need. We're going to shoot that or try to. I'm moving forward. There we go. That's better. Now I'll get the boost. We've had a lot of opportunities here. We've definitely had more opportunities to score than them. Teammates are actually doing a great job with these 50s as well, but now they're just in a real pointless position. There, They need to get on the inside. Yeah, I was going to say, because now that they're hit, puts it in the middle. Now, hopefully they go onto the backboard, and that's really what a real bad way to rotate. So you never want to rotate there. You have to go onto the backboard. Is this guy here has to go onto the backboard to stop the ball coming through? You you don't rotate from the corner, never. You face the play. Okay, so they've changed their rhythm again, so I got to change it back. Yep, nice look for the demo. Quick flick. I think that's in. Yeah. 
All right, nice. We had quite a few opportunities. Just got to get that clinicality up a little bit. Take our time here. They're overcommitting a lot. We are fighting them a bit too much uh, out of uh, out of beat. So I'm going to grab this. I'm watching every time. I snap back and forth with my camera. I know people hate it, but I need to be able to see what's going on. I'm not going to go here. They've funneled it for me down the wing, which is perfect. I've got to try. Oh, that's so sad. I'm going to say i got to try and block this as best as possible because my teammate's just been demoed. Uh, and that's, that's a real shame. I get the wrong hit. They went earlier than I expected. I should have turned away. I was trying to deflect a light hit there. So, again, I'm just getting caught out on the uh, corners here. This is actually me playing bad on the corners. They're going weirdly in the corners, and I've got to adapt. Okay, I can't go here. They're going to throw and look for it. Okay, they're going to go here, more than likely. I'm going to block, look for a stomp. Okay, this is an opportunity for us. As long as I kill. I don't get the kill. I'm going to grab this. And away. Here we go. Opportunity. Quick flick over the top. Double jump. The teammate was there. I didn't want him to be there. That's why I had to double jump. I wanted to actually take a second and go for the load. So again, we're just being too aggressive like I was saying earlier. Hopefully they go. Nice. And uh, yeah, they're, they're sort of with me too much. Pass it. That's a shame. Good demo again from this Matt Lux. This could be the loss. So again, just we're just a little bit not syncing very well, me and this teammate here. As far as our like offensive situation. So when I'm in a bad spot, they're going too quick to try and reload the offense. And when I'm in a good spot, they're taking their time nice shot. And then we can't go together. Uh, but again, we get another kickoff goal. So the main thing I can say is look at the difference. They're following up and they don't back off. So well played. But we're waiting. This could be game. So yeah, I made a lot of mistakes there. Mainly the corner plays. You know, the first time I expected my teammate to be back. The other time I, I think that I expected him to be in that. And then the other time I just did a terrible, terrible 50. Okay, we're actually Div 1. I was expecting to be Div 2, but no problem. Let's just keep moving. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate the support. Get after yourself and peace out. Peace, peace.